Hi guys, today we're going to learn about triangles. So let's have a look. Now we all know what a triangle is. A triangle is a three-sided shape and therefore it has three angles. Now the first reason we need to know in a triangle is that the three angles in a triangle will add to 180 degrees. And the geometry reason we're going to use when we use this statement is sum of angles in a triangle. So that one's very easy and we've seen it before. Okay, let's look at number two. If you have a triangle and you extend one of the sides, so that side, that angle there is called P, and notice it's one of the sides of the triangle that's just been extended. Now that's called an exterior angle of a triangle. When you extend one of the sides, the angle that it forms towards the triangle is called the exterior angle. Now the exterior angle of a triangle, in this case is P, it is always equal to the sum of the two angles inside the triangle on the opposite side of the triangle. So in this picture, you can see that P will equal S plus T. Now the reason we're going to use when we use this particular geometry reason is exterior angle of triangle. Okay, now let's look at an example, because that one can be a little bit difficult. So the first question says solve for X, and we've got a triangle, and you'll see there's an exterior angle, which is X, and the two angles inside the triangle on the opposite side are 70 and 30. So I would say that x is 70 plus 30, and my reason is exterior angle of triangle, which means that x must be 100 degrees. Okay, now let's look at one which is a little bit more interesting. So there's a triangle, and once again there's an exterior angle, because the 120 degrees is outside the triangle. And this one I would say that x plus 50 is 120 degrees, because of the exterior angle of triangle, and that's because those are the two angles on the opposite side of the triangle added together, and then I would solve for x by minusing 50 from both sides. So I would get x is equal to 70. So that's two reasons so far. Sum of angles in a triangle, and exterior angle of triangle. Okay, so let's look at number three. Number three is I've drawn a triangle, and I've labeled two sides equal. So I've labeled AB equal to AC. So those two lines on the sides mean that those two sides are equal. So now I've written triangle ABC is called an isosceles triangle. And we will know this because there are two equal sides. So an isosceles triangle is a triangle with two equal sides. But if you are given two equal sides in a triangle, you then know something else. You then know that the two angles opposite these equal sides are also equal. So the angles opposite these sides will also be equal to each other. So in this picture, for example, do you see my dotted lines? I've gone opposite to the equal sides to get angle C and angle B. And so angle B and angle C must be equal to each other. Now the reason we're going to use when we use this theorem is that angle B and angle C are equal to each other because they are angles opposite equal sides. So always start if, because angle B and angle C are angles, we say they are angles opposite the equal sides. So let's look at an example of this. So the question says, determine the values of X, Y, A, and B. So let's look at our first example. As you can see, we're given a, a triangle, and it has an exterior angle. 100 degrees would be the exterior angle. And as you can see, my triangle is clearly isosceles because it has two sides which are labeled equal. Now, I've put a little yellow arc all the way over what will be a straight line. So immediately I can find x because I know that x plus 100 will be 180 degrees because of angles on a straight line. Now, that means I can solve for x because I can minus 100 on both sides and I'll get 80 degrees. Now, this is very nice because this is an isosceles triangle. So I have two equal sides, which means the angles opposite them will also be equal. So I know that y will also be 80 degrees because it will be exactly the same as x because x and y are angles opposite equal sides. Okay, let's look at another example. In this example, again, it's an isosceles triangle. We can see that from the two sides that are given equal. And we have 50 degrees A and B. Now I've got nothing else. All I have is a triangle. So the first thing I noticed is, ah, if I have two equal sides, it means that angles opposite those equal sides are also equal. So A and B must be equal because they are angles opposite equal sides. But 
these three angles also form part of a triangle. So A plus B plus 50 degrees must be 180 degrees because of sum of angles in a triangle. But A and B are the same thing. So instead of writing A plus B, why can't I write A plus A? Because B is A. They are equal to each other. So A plus A plus 50 degrees is equal to 180. Now that makes an easy equation for me to solve because if I minus 50 on both sides, I get 130. And if I add my A's together, I get 2A. So now I get 2A is 130. If I divide by 2, I get A is 65. But if A is 65, that means B must be 65. Okay, so let's go on to a fourth reason. So the fourth one, once again, draws us a triangle. Now triangle ABC would be an isosceles triangle. Why? Because it has two equal angles. So I've labeled those angles X and X, which means angle B and angle C are equal to each other. But if you are given two angles that are equal to each other, then the sides opposite to these equal angles are also equal to each other. So let's look at this picture. Opposite X is AC and opposite X is AB. So AB and AC must be equal to each other. Now this reason would be because A and B are sides opposite equal angles. So often it gets very confusing with angles opposite equal sides and sides opposite equal angles. So I always say to myself, why is AB equal to AC? Because AB and AC are sides that are opposite are equal angles. So let's look at an example. So this question says, determine the value of x and y. Now it's drawn a triangle for us, and as you can see, I clearly have an exterior angle of 110 degrees. I have one length of the triangle equal to 4 centimeters, the other one y, and I have x and 70 degrees in my triangle. Now you'll notice I have a straight line. Now we know that the angles on a straight line will add to 180 degrees, and so I can write a statement with a reason. Now, if I minus 110 on both sides, I can get what x is equal to. Now, this is wonderful, because if x is 70, that means I have two equal angles in my triangle, which that makes this triangle an isosceles triangle, which means the sides opposite these equal angles are also going to be equal. So I now know that y must be 4 centimeters. Now, why is the length of y 4 centimeters? Because y and 4 are sides opposite equal angles.